In the ethereal realm of ancient Japan, where the boundaries between life and death blurred, there existed a formidable deity known as Izanami. As the goddess of the underworld and death, she held sway over the realm of Yomi, a desolate and enigmatic abode where the souls of the departed resided. Izanami's origins were shrouded in mystery. According to legend, she emerged from the primordial chaos alongside her brother and consort, Izanagi, the god of creation. Together, they embarked on a divine mission to shape the world and give birth to the islands of Japan. As they stood on the floating bridge of heaven, Izanagi and Izanami dipped their celestial spear into the swirling waters below. With each stirring motion, islands rose from the depths, forming the archipelago that would become their home. However, as they continued their work, tragedy struck. Izanami gave birth to the fire god, Kagetsuchi, whose fiery nature proved too intense for her to bear. The flames consumed her body, causing her to descend into the realm of Yomi. Grief-stricken, Izanagi pursued his beloved into the underworld, determined to bring her back to the land of the living. As Izanagi ventured deeper into Yomi, he encountered a realm of darkness and decay. The air was thick with the stench of rotting flesh, and the ground was littered with the bones of the dead. Undeterred, he pressed on, his heart filled with both hope and trepidation. Finally, he reached the palace of Izanami, where he found her seated on a throne of bones. Her once radiant beauty had faded, replaced by a ghastly pallor and hollow eyes. Izanagi's heart sank as he realized the extent of her transformation. Izanami, my beloved, he pleaded, return with me to the world of the living. I cannot bear to live without you. But Izanami's voice was cold and distant. It is too late, Izanagi. I have eaten the food of Yomi, and I am now bound to this realm forever. You must return to the land of the living and leave me here. Despair washed over Izanagi as he realized the futility of his quest. With a heavy heart, he turned and fled from Yomi, his cries of anguish echoing through the desolate underworld. As he emerged from the realm of death, Izanagi performed a purification ritual to cleanse himself of the taint of Yomi. He then sealed the entrance to the underworld with a massive boulder, forever separating the living from the dead. From that day forward, Izanami remained the undisputed ruler of Yomi. She became known as the goddess of death, feared and revered by mortals and deities alike. Her name was whispered in hushed tones, and her image was often depicted as a skeletal figure draped in a flowing black robe. Yet, despite her fearsome reputation, Izanami was not entirely devoid of compassion. She was said to guide the souls of the departed through the labyrinthine paths of Yomi, offering them solace and guidance in their final journey. As the centuries passed, Izanami's legend grew and evolved. She became associated with the cycle of life and death, representing the inevitable transition from one realm to another. Her name became synonymous with the inevitability of mortality, a reminder that even the most powerful of beings must eventually succumb to the embrace of death. And so, Izanami, the goddess of the underworld and death, continued to reign over Yomi, a formidable and enigmatic figure who held sway over the eternal mysteries of life and the afterlife.